It was at the Baku City Circuit last season where Lewis Hamilton struggled to climb out of the W13 after the race due to suffering from extreme back pain as a result of horrific porpoising. However, things are looking much better now. The Silver Arrows enjoyed a strong outing in Australia where Hamilton finished second, with him and teammate George Russell both having briefly led the race. After enduring a tricky start to the campaign in Bahrain and Saudi Arabia, they will now be looking to carry the momentum from Melbourne forward to the next race in Azerbaijan, with the aim of closing the gap to championship leaders Red Bull and to pull away from their best of the rest rivals Aston Martin and Ferrari. After an extremely dominant period in Formula 1, Mercedes completely missed the mark in 2022. The team was so convinced of its much-discussed zero side pod concept that it decided to largely stick to it in 2023 as well. However, after disappointing results in the opening race, team boss Toto Wolf admitted that the current concept was not working. The team now believes that there's a clear design direction for the remainder of the season. Wolf has promised a consistent stream of upgrades in the next few races, and he's wasted no time making changes behind the scenes. The Mercedes team has shuffled its senior technical personnel, with key figures James Allison and Mike Elliott swapping jobs. The switch, which forms part of a raft of changes the team is making to help it return to the front of the F1 grid, will see Allison return to the role of technical director, while Elliott is to take up the position of chief technical officer. Hamilton has complained about the design of the 2023 car, and criticised his engineers for ignoring his feedback. And now, Wolf has taken matters into his own hands by replacing Elliott. The bold change, which comes 20 months after Allison originally moved into the CTO position, has been prompted by Elliott concluding that the skills he had were not best suited to his position as technical director. With the squad having done some soul-searching after a difficult start to the 2023 season, Elliott agreed with Allison that the team would be better set if they changed roles. Speaking about the move, Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff said, This was very much driven by Mike Elliott owning the process. So we have reversed the roles. Mike has moved up to CTO as he has a brilliant switched on scientific mind. And James Allison has returned to his technical director position, reporting into Mike. Wolf explained that Elliot believed Allison was far better suited to the technical director role, where there's more hands-on responsibility for the car, and it would be advantageous for him to focus on wider organizational technical developments that play to his own strengths. What Mike's assessment was is that with James, we have a gladiator on the field, and the troops are going to go through the fire for him and with him. Mike came to the conclusion that the way he approaches things, his skill sets, is best utilized in developing the organization going forward. From technical capabilities to human capabilities and putting together the structure that can be successful for many years to come. We're seeing huge changes in the technical developments, artificial intelligence, and machine learning. Mercedes is currently working on a raft of updates for its W14, but it hopes will help it close the gap to pace setter Red Bull. The changes to the car are set to include a revamp of its side pod concept. Wolf said that Allison's return as technical director would see the team continue with its current development direction. We have a path now that we believe is the right one. It's just different personalities and a different management structure. While Adrian Newey is the king of Formula 1 race car design and aerodynamics, there's no doubt that James Allison is his nearest rival on the grid. Allison has played a part in the design of the two of the most dominant F1 cars ever created, the Ferrari F2004 and the Mercedes W. W11. His return to the coalface of Formula 1, taking in hand the day-to-day -day running of the design of Mercedes's car, should thus strike fear into the hearts of the rest of the field. The switch of personnel could be a move to assuage any concerns Hamilton has about Mercedes's direction. After all, with contract talks not far off, Mercedes can now point to Allison and remind Hamilton that the man overseeing the design of next year's car is the same as the one who oversaw his title-winning cars from 2017 to 2020. Allison has revealed that the Silver Arrows are working on making the W14 more drivable for the upcoming Azerbaijan Grand Prix, with it being a venue that left Hamilton in particular agony last year. Crash, heartache, and then backache. 
Hamilton's weekends in Baku have always been extraordinary. Lewis has raced five times at the Baku City Circuit and has only managed to win it once in 2018, and he's been on the pole once in 2017. Over the years, he's dominated several circuits with the beast underneath him, but Baku remains one of the few where he has yet to prove himself. The seven-time world champion faced a challenging time during the 51-lap race in Baku last season, as he struggled to get out of his Mercedes cockpit due to severe back pain. Hamilton and Russell both experienced difficulties in their cars, with them bouncing on the track. Hamilton later described the race as the most excruciating experience of his career, stating that he was biting down on his teeth due to the pain. Despite the discomfort, adrenaline pushed him through and he endured until the end of the race. With porpoising gone and a decent pace found again, Hamilton would be hunting for the win again. We will be working in the drawing office also to bring mechanical parts to the car, some different suspension components that we think will help the underlying balance of the car and make it a more drivable thing, making it something that the drivers have more confidence to push right to the limits. We'll be working on the normal sort of simulation loop and routines that allow us to prepare for the race weekends that are coming up, making sure that we land the car in the right place when we get to the race. Making both drivers feel comfortable in the car in Baku will be absolutely vital to a good haul of points, given that Azerbaijan will host the first sprint race of the 2023 season. It means that more points will be available next weekend, whilst the Germans will also have less time to get the W14 in the right window, putting further emphasis on using the current spring break wisely. Looking back at the first three rounds of the season, which for Mercedes have yielded a best result of P2 for Hamilton in Australia, Wolf said that his team had spotted encouraging signs. In terms of car development, it is encouraging to see that within three races we understand the car much better, we have defined a clear direction where we need to go, and I believe we are on the right trajectory. We need to consolidate our understanding and hopefully over the next few races we can make another step. At the Australian Grand Prix, Mercedes was in considerably better shape than in the first two races of the year, but a potential podium turned into a DNF for Russell. He suffered a rare reliability issue on his W14 when his power unit failed, a race which he had led in the early stages, but the team is still suffering an underlying pace deficit to Red Bull. When he was asked if the potential upgrades are being worked on in the simulator, Russell kept tight-lipped about the exact details of where they would be, but he's confident about how much time they have been able to find in recent weeks. Yeah, I mean we're working really hard at the moment with these changes. I won't give too much away and we need to make sure they work as expected, but as we've said a number of times, we're probably finding more gains in the past two or three weeks than we found over the whole winter by clearly developing in the wrong window. So it's definitely heading in the right direction. The best Mercedes and Russell can hope for in the upcoming rounds will be incremental progress, while hoping they can bring down the gap to Red Bull out in front, particularly in race trim, where the RB19 looks especially dominant. So what do you think about the newly generated plans for the W14? Do you think Mercedes can challenge Red Bull for victories with their new design and everything going on in the factories? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel, and don't forget to click the bell button to be notified of future videos.